Hey guys, welcome to episode 177 of the Cat Lady channel. I am Andrea, also known as the Cat Lady. That's two T C A T T, which stands for Craft All the Things. Thank you for joining me. If you are new, thank you so much for checking me out. Uh, if you are returning, thanks so much, of course, for coming back for more of the crazy antics that are my channel. Uh, if you are new, I am a fiber related channel, so yarn related stuff, so knitting, spinning, crochet, those kind of things, but I also do other things like cricket, crafting, uh, cross stitch, and all sorts of other random things, though I haven't done anything random in a while, so it's a lot of knitting, spinning, crochet. So that is what we'll be talking about today. Uh, if you follow, if you want to follow me on social media, I am on Instagram as the cat lady, uh, all one word, two T's. I also have a Facebook page. Uh, and I share just what I'm working on, what I'm doing, other silly things. And if you want to chat with me on a regular, like, chatting, not like chatting, but it's message board. It's like a message board. So there, we have a Discord channel, and Discord is an app you can download, or there is a web browser you can use. The link is down below. I also have a hand-dyed yarn business, and I'm trying to restart up, and... You can get information about that if you sign up for my newsletter, which is also linked down below. Lastly, if you'd like to donate to the channel, I have a coffee account. You can throw a dollar or two at me. I'm hoping to host a make-along, thinking the beginning of the year. I'd, I feel like now is a bad time to start a make-along because now it's, we're getting close into like holiday knitting and stuff, unless it was like a holiday knitting thing. But I want to do a cat lady make-along. Plus, I'd like to have the yarn available in my shop to buy before I do a cat lady make-along. But I'd like to do a cat lady make-along where you take some, you have my yarn, or I have two patterns available. And if you make something with my yarn or my patterns and you get entered to win prizes, because it'll be good, it's kind of a good marketing tool for me to have to see people knit up my yarn. And again, you can win prizes, but I have a coffee account that has money in it to purchase some prizes because none of this is free. <laughs> like prizes aren't free unless you want to donate prizes i am also open for donations if you'd like to donate prizes if you are a maker and you want to donate prizes to the channel i am always open for that conversation as well uh, <clears throat> i think that's it for my intro i'm trying my best to remember things off the top of my head oh i am in michigan i have two kids i have a cat and a husband sorry i shouldn't say my husband last i have a husband two kids and a cat uh, and right now it's uh like fall summer it's like fall in the morning and summer in the afternoon uh, I'm sporting my hats now because I it's freezing in the morning and I don't have to do my hair so all I have to do is like floof my bangs and I'm good to go so this is my barley light by tin can knits in the October graffiti colorway by by me the cat lady <clears throat> I'm thinking I should dye this up again because <coughs> excuse me I'm thinking I should dye this up again because it's uh, it's fall and it's pretty and I like it. So I, ha I have another um, bandana cowl off to wear one day. It's also in the October graffiti colorway that is DK. So it's nice and squishy. So anywho, I think that's it. So on to what's going on. So I totally forgot last uh, last episode I had mentioned I was going down to uh, or up up north about an hour and a half from here to look at piano so if you are new i am taking piano lessons and i'm looking to get an actual piano we have a digital piano and it's okay but it's not like a piano so i started looking online for pianos so i went to a couple piano stores and then i found a he's a piano tuner technician sells on the side so it's not like through a store or anything but he has pianos up at his house for sale a, f a few of them so I went up there to look at one that I saw that online that I liked that I liked the model it was a Yamaha U1 and it's an upright piano and he also had another one up that he's like oh I have a Kawai to show you too so Yamaha and Kawai are two pretty good brands of pianos so I've learned a lot about pianos in the last couple weeks but I forgot to tell everybody what happened when I went up there. So I went up there. So, you know, I drove for three hours, spent like 20 minutes up there. I went and looked at the Yamaha and it was, it sounded lovely. It really did. Pianos have a long life if they're taken good, good care of. So this piano sounded good. He fixed it up, tech, tuned it, whatever. It was good. However, it's from the 80s. So it is dinged up. So, you know, some of the keys were, there was like some chips on the keys. There was like 
chips in the wood and it was I loved piano I, I hope hopefully uh, but it still had life in it so then he showed me the Kwai and it was a similar model it was a K3 which they don't make anymore that's a different model now but they make similar but different it's called a K300 and it sounded beautiful it sounds different but beautiful they both have different sounds to it they weren't terribly different though the Kwai is a little bassier I'd say a little deeper um, but the thing is like brand new it's a shiny mahogany oh the other one was a black satin so it was like it showed satin finish you know you show it shows fingerprints more it shows everything more dirt um, but this one was a like polished mahogany so I I think I'm gonna get it so that's the plan he's supposed to deliver he does deliver down here so he's supposed to deliver next week so uh, yeah I think that's the plan <laughs> so getting a new piano and it's not very old he didn't have the exact year but it's like he thinks it's only a couple years old <clears throat> it came from a, fam a couple that was getting divorced and they were just like clearing out their house so it doesn't look like it's been used at all I'm sure it, I feel like it was probably like a showpiece in their house so someone may have played but maybe they didn't I don't know but I doubt they used it on a regular basis the Yamaha on the other hand looked like it'd been but it was from the 80s so it's like 40 years old so it had obviously been used so that's my piano story once I get it uh, I will of course show it off and yeah but you're here for craft so sorry I should have put that at the end but I wanted to get that out of the way else I was probably gonna forget again so on to crafting things I have been working on my knitted knockers so are my crocheted knockers for the knitted knockers foundation whatever organization so Adrian the reluctant knitter of the reluctant sisters podcast is having a make-along it's the RK save the Tatas MAL 2022 put that down below here as well but uh, if you make knitted if you make your it's a breast cancer awareness make along you can make anything that's related to breast cancer awareness but if you make knockers you get double entries so I made finished one so and basically you just put the stuffing in here and but I will send it unstuffed because you know the organization will stuff them so and then I started the second one I don't know how many I'm doing but I guess uh, I have a lot of yarn but they are a little like hard on my hands uh, I'm using a size for 4.25 millimeter G hook with this yarn which doesn't seem problematic at all and this is Patton's Grace it's a sport weight cotton but for some reason I just feel like each stitch is kind of I don't know I know I crochet a little tight but still something just it's not the most comfortable project so I don't know how many I'm gonna make I'll definitely finish this one which I don't know I feel like I'll have the yarn left but I may not uh, and then go from there because I have more of this cotton but I'll at least make the two um, I should make two more I should at least make about four I mean and then send them out send them on their way so that's that's that and that's kind of an easy sit in bed at night project and the next I've been doing some spinning so I showed off my odds and ends and I got two skeins done so here's two little minis and these are all bits and bobs of unknown random assortment in addition to assorted wool breeds the contents may include alpaca yak camel superwash fibers bamboo silk nylon cashmere so it's just a no idea what I'm spinning um, these were up these, oh, they're still pretty soft but I'm trying to think of a project to do with all these I have this is my third bag so I have two full finished bags of these minis this one I just started <clears throat> uh, but I was thinking the other day what if I made a bunch of like granny squares and then put them together into something I don't know what I'd have to make one square and see how big it is and you know not saying not to say that they're all gonna be the same size but you know I got to determine yeah can I get like three round I know it's gonna be tiny are they be tiny squares I'll probably be tiny squares um, so I don't know but I thought like a bunch of these little random squares put together could be really cute but also sounds like a lot of work <laughs> so I don't know I don't know what to do with these I need uh need some kind of project that I like has a bunch of pieces put together but I'm in the middle of my third one so probably about halfway and this one's pretty so that's it and that's living in my space cats bag that I made one of my favorite bags I love this bag
And lastly, the only other thing I touched is my uh, E, what is it? Easy rag, super easy, simple, well, something rag, what is it? Mm, I told myself I wasn't gonna bend over, but. <laughs> real, real easy raglan, that's what it is. The real easy raglan, this is using the Cat Lady Yarns Tainted Love. I, I'm alternating skeins on the body, and I do see the line in the back a little bit. I'm thinking it'll block out though, because it does kind of stretch out, and you probably can't see because there's so many things in the way, but there is a little line in the back. See, I can't even see it from here, but my vision's terrible, so maybe it's not as noticeable. But this, that's the back. <laughs> There's the front, but I did uh, cast on a sleeve. So I'm going to, and I'm not alternating skeins. I'm taking skein three and I'm starting the sleeve. And so far I don't see a difference. It's only been like two rows though, not even. Uh, yeah, it's been two rows. And I don't see a difference in color, so I'm thinking I'll be okay, but it's only been two rows. But I'm gonna go around around the sleeve. It's gonna be a short sleeved shirt, like, like here probably. So I need to, Probably do like an inch of ribbing. So it's not going to take very long to do the sleeves. And then I will go back to alternating the two existing skeins. And then I'm going to do a lot of ribbing. So it's going to start here and it's all being a ribbing. So even if I change color, I think in the ribbing, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Or maybe once I get to the ribbing, I'll just switch to the third skein. Maybe that's what I'll do. So that even if it, if it does look slightly different, it'll look intentional. So I think that might be the plan. And then the ribbing technically will match the sleeves. I don't know. It'll sort of seem intentional. But I love the way it's turning out. It's super, it was super easy. I did alter it a little bit, but overall it is a very super real easy raglan um, that fits really nice. So I'm excited to have that done. So I'll work on that some more. That's it. I haven't touched anything else. I have, I have too many projects, which I don't usually like to have too many projects at once, but I do. And here we are. So the it's Tuesday so it's Tuesday oh I never mentioned it's Tuesday I usually record throughout the week and then snip uh, put them all together and post on Friday uh, the schedule we have here is madness Emily so Emily has cross-country robotics potentially might start scouts and David has piano so and of course robotics and cross-country all like they overlap a lot so I am kind of agonizing over scheduling and when we're getting to places and who's taking someone who where and what robotics we might miss and then what cross-country we're gonna have to miss because again we can't be at both places at once so that's it's frustrating so it's overwhelming I went back to bed today this morning after I got David on the bus I like went and laid back down because I'm just like my brain is so fried so then I did some spinning this morning though. So I worked on my spindle and I need to go to the grocery store and pick up some odds and ends because we're like totally out of food and like nobody's home for dinner now. Like usually we're all home for dinner, but like uh, we all, we all, the kids all have to be places or mostly Emily, but ah. so yeah, so it's going to be a interesting month or two getting through all these events. We did the same thing last year. It's not much different than last year, except that we have a added some things which of course oh and she's got band stuff that comes in to play as well that's gonna interfere with the schedule so so I'm trying to just lay low today I do need to run up to the store because we're out of everything so that is my plan work on some projects and just try to chill and take a deep breath and yeah so I will be back with more this week to let you know what I've been working on and we'll wrap that up so talk to you then Hey guys, it's Friday. Welcome back. Even though I sh you didn't leave. <laughs> it's weird because I'm gone for like two days and but when you're watching it, it's like instantaneous. I did have microphone issues earlier in the episode. I did cut it out. Uh, so it's, it, you've noticed I kind of spliced some things earlier. That's why. So I'm hoping I don't have any more issues. I really should look into maybe getting a not $5 microphone. Not that I want to spend a lot of money, but eh, maybe like a $20 microphone might be a little better. So we'll see. Well, hopefully, hopefully this works out. I, it just randomly just cut out for like a 10 seconds or not even, but luckily I wasn't saying anything that I needed. I, like I had repeated what I had said or something. So it was easy to cut out, but now I'm afraid that every time I record, I'm going to have to come back and re-record, but 
I don't have too much to share, so just in case I do have to re-record. Anyways, so I have some things to share. First, I will share some progress of my sweater. Oh, I'm re I'm re I'm reconsidering things. So originally I was going to do the short sleeve sweater with a like large ribbing section at the end. Now I'm just thinking of just doing it flat out. I think maybe it's gonna be cuter. I don't know if I like the idea of the ribbing anymore. So chime in because it's not gonna be, I'm not gonna get there anytime soon. So what do you think? So this is the real easy raglan. I kind of feel like just a really cute short sleeve sweater is gonna be with just a little bit of the ribbing, just the same as the top. Same. As, oh, and I finished a, I finished a sleeve of a sleeve. And did I cast on the sleeve yet? No, I didn't. I need to cast on the sleeve because it's a pain. The starting of it is a pain, so I don't want to do it. So <laughs> keep putting it off. So I finished this sleeve. I don't see any real difference in the skein of yarns that I added on there. So that's good. So that was the third skein that I threw on the sleeve. So I'm going to do that for the other side. Uh, I did make a tiny bit of progress on the body. I just did a few rounds because I was procrastinating putting on the other sleeve. So I will get back to that. And that's just living on my floor, which is terrible, but I have yarn everywhere. So that's that. Uh, other projects, I been. This is hurting my hands. I it is kind of a. I I, I like I like it, but it's hurting my hands. So this is the crocheted knitted knockers. So this was the first one I finished. So this is uh, the second one. So I'm on. I just started the back section. So I'm about ready to start the decreases in the back. But yeah, it's like hurting my hands after a while. And it's not like I'm using a size 4.25 hook. It's technically a G, but it's not a G because a G is actually a, well a G apparently is a 4 millimeter or a 4.25 millimeter. So I'm using the slightly larger G hook. I'm using sport weight yarn. So I mean it's not an issue with that. I just don't know what it is. And this yarn is fine. This is Patton's Grace. It's just, it's bothering me for some reason. That, maybe it's this hook. I think I mentioned it before that it was bothering me. Maybe it's this metal hook because I've been using the Amore hooks, Clover. Uh, for my other, most of my projects was has the kind of rubber gripped handle and it has like a slightly different tip. So maybe that's why. Maybe it's these metal hooks that are kind of cramping my hands. But that's the only 4.25 I have because the Amore G is a four millimeter. So, uh, so that's that. And then I, so then I've been working on my spinning project and yes, I pulled out all my other bags of minis. So I have like 49 minis total. I will when I'm done. Oh, here, so here's the G Amore hook. So maybe, maybe that's the difference, but anyways. Um, I really want to do something fun with these. And I was thinking, so again, I need your opinion. Oh, I got hair in there. It's like an old hair too. That's long hair. So here's one I finished. Show that first. So I have three finished from this current bag. I have a fourth one on the spindle. So yeah, this is a really nice project just to sit and chill on the couch and do that. So I am thinking, I'd like to maybe make granny squares. So I have a few different things. I have like make little tiny granny squares, not tiny tiny, but like medium sized granny squares. And then if I remember, I'll put the picture in, put them all together into like a wall hanging. And I was thinking I could just like hang it down my door. So I have the door to my craft room. I could just like hang it from the top and they could go all the way down to the floor. So it'd be like maybe four wide and then just down. And then I could just keep, I don't know, I probably need, huh? I probably need to get another bag at Ryan bag and I just keep adding them on in sets of four or five or whatever and it ends up being the width wise. I make this cute little door hanging. That was idea number one. Number two, I was thinking of some kind of like bunting, so little triangles, and then I could hang them like across the, the ceiling kind of hang them from the side of the uh, room. So again, it'd be a little decorative thing. So that was option two. Three would be just a scrappy triangle granny shawl. So I could just make a, you know, triangle shawl with the granny stripes and then uh, do that. However, I, I like, I don't know my yardage. I don't know. I, 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 they're all approximately 
The lowest one I had was three grams. I weighed them all. The lowest one was three grams, which not including the ones I just, I haven't done yet. The three grams through nine or 10 grams, I think was the heaviest, which doesn't mean anything for yardage anyways, because they all should be spun about the same, but they're, they're not. I mean, they're sand spun, so it's not a hundred percent consistent. They're very similar, but I did make a square. And so this one was one of the small ones. So this was a four gram mini or a three gram, I think a four gram. So I ended up splicing, I opened up an, uh, one of the bigger minis. This is probably like a seven gram mini just to finish it. So this is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six rounds. So it makes this nice little square. So then the, the hanging, so it's kind of big because the hanging I think was only four rounds or three rounds, three or four, but but, you know, if it's going on a door, I could probably get four across, I'd say. And then they'd hang down. Or I could do, like, the bunting. So it's picture it being like a triangle. A little granny triangle. And then they'd, they could string around. And then I made a second square. This was out of the... And it's, it didn't finish this one either. This was, this was like, the, this was, I think, was the three gram mini. So I have one, two, three, four, five rounds... I think I started the sixth round. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I started round six here and only made it <laughs> half a row. But if I found a larger mini with a similar color, I could go around because it really doesn't matter. But, uh, but yeah, then I would block these and stuff. So what are your thoughts? Do I do a, di a diamond-shaped wall hanging? Do I do triangle-shaped bunting? Or do I do some kind of... I, this one's kind of scratchy. This one... They're all so different. I don't know if I want to make a wearable. So I really feel like... Plus it's like I don't know if it's... It all may not be super wash. So as far as like washing and stuff. Not that I would wash it in the washing machine anyways. I don't know. But just all the different fibers and stuff. I don't know if mixing them into one wearable is a good idea. So I'm thinking it, has, it should be something decorative. And it's, I don't know, it's hand spun. So I like to showcase the hand spun. So if you have any other ideas, simple ideas, I don't necessarily want them. Because like, originally I started, actually I have some up there. I made, started making hand spun hearts, like little stuffed hearts. And that was cute and all, but eh, I don't know. I don't know what I would do with a bunch of hearts. So something that I can hang is uh, would be good. Or if you have any other ideas, some sort of something <laughs> um ideally you know like so for the uh, door hanging there's not a lot of seaming you're just seaming the corner so that's real simple uh for bunting it's just like you're stringing it together with a chain at the top so it's simple so i don't necessarily because I, I i don't because i don't really want to blanket because i don't think i have enough anyways and that would be a, a lot of seaming so thoughts let me know thoughts on my sweater let me I, let, I need your opinions on a lot of things this week so chime in on whether I should do the ribbing or not ribbing and maybe I should do some polls on Instagram this weekend and then I will give choices on bunting wall door hanging or other I'd like your opinions um that's it that's all I got so I will continue to work on those things this weekend I Emily's got her first cross-country race this weekend She's got robotics this weekend. It's, it's busy. It's busy. And then we were going to do something on Sunday. We were thinking of either doing the auto show or the Renaissance Festival. But the more I think about it, the more I'm like, uh, can we just like not do anything? <laughs> We've been so busy. Every day we're taking Emily to and from somewhere. And then David's going places. And it's all good. It's all good stuff. But it's like exhausting. So I kind of, and then, so then we're gone most of the day, Saturday back and forth between different events and I just want a day to chill so but and then we're like oh well, we should do these things and blah, blah, blah. but it's gonna be really hot out pool's supposed to be open this weekend and still at our in our subdivision so maybe I don't know maybe we just do a pool day do a chill day work on my projects kids want to play games because Emily uh Emily's gotten her video games most so my kids have video game schedule they're only allowed to play like an hour a day two hours on the weekends uh but you know, some days when Emily's got back-to-back, uh, -back, like, cross-country and robotics and stuff, she doesn't have time. So, David, and David sometimes decides he'd rather go play outside. So, 
So maybe they can just get a little extra video game time on Sunday and we chill and I don't know. So I need to chill. <laughs> we all need to chill. Um, so that's it. Not too much to going on. So well, a lot of going on, but not, not as much crafty stuff going on. So I'm going to continue to work on my spindle today and maybe work on my body. Oh, I got to get that sleeve on. I got to just get the sleeve on, get it done and be done. So anyways, I hope everyone has a great week. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I probably am. I'll remember it later and put it in there next week. So I hope everyone has a good weekend. I hope everyone's week goes well and I hope you get to craft all the things.